Keyword Planner is a keyword research tool that you can use directly inside Google Search, YouTube, Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. It uses their auto-suggest APIs to show you long tail keywords related to your search query next to the search bar. Now let me show you how it works. So Keyword Planner is a very simple browser add-on that you can install and start using right away. So I installed the Keyword Planner browser add-on for Chrome. Now let me show you how you can use it starting with Google. You can see these four new icons here inside the search bar. When you click on any of these four buttons, Keyword Planner will use Google's auto-suggest API to show you the long tail keywords associated with your search query. Now, when you click on it, you can see all the long tail keywords here and they are sorted and organized in these colored boxes. So this yellow box has the long tail keywords with the modifier of definition. This box here has the modifier of examples, salary agency, institute, and so on. Now, if you have a subscription to Keywords Everywhere, you can add your Keywords Everywhere API key to Keyword Planner to unlock these average monthly search volumes. So to add your Keywords Everywhere API, just click on the Keyword Planner browser add-on and you can add your API key right here, then click on Validate API Key. You can also select a country of where you want the search volume to pull from as well. So once you added and validated your API key, then you can see the average monthly search volume next to all of the long tail keywords. But if you don't add the Keywords Everywhere API key, then you will not have access to the average monthly search volume. You will only see the long tail keywords in the boxes. And to help with your keyword research process, you can move this data elsewhere as well. You can copy this data and paste it on a spreadsheet, or you can export this as a CSV file. And if you want to dig into a specific long tail keyword, you can just click on the keyword and you will do a Google search for that specific long tail keyword. And you can follow the same process by clicking on any of these four icons. Now let me show you the second icon. Let me click on close. Now this second icon will show keywords that are questions. So I'm going to click on this questions icon and you can see all the long tail keywords sorted and organized in these colored boxes. These are all of the how to questions, which, why, and so on. I'm going to click on close. And for the third icon, this will show you all the long tail keywords that compare. So comparisons, let me click on this one and we can see them right here. So, and, or, and versus. And the last one are the prepositions. And all of them are listed in these boxes here. Okay, now let's jump to YouTube. We can see those same four icons. The first one shows you all the keywords. So I'm gonna click on that. And we can see all the long tail keywords for my search query specifically for YouTube. The next one are the questions and we can view comparisons. Now, sometimes there might not be any long tail keywords found for this search query. And if that's the case, you'll see this message right here. So I'm gonna click on close. And lastly, I'm gonna click on the prepositions. And here we go. And again, you can copy this and paste it elsewhere or export this as a CSV file. And if you want to dig deeper into a specific long tail keyword, you can just click on any of the long tail keywords and you will immediately do a search for that inside YouTube. Okay, now let's go to Amazon. So I searched for men's shoes and we can see the four icons right here. Let's click on the first one. We can see all the long tail keywords nicely sorted in these colored boxes. Let's click on questions and comparisons. And lastly, the prepositions. Next is eBay. So I searched for Nike Dunk. Let's click on this first button showing us all of the keywords associated with Nike Dunk. And again, keep in mind, these are all keywords associated with the website. So these are long tail keywords from eBay's auto suggest API. Let's click on questions. Let's see if there are any questions. So it says no keywords found for this search query. I'm going to click on close. Let's click on comparisons. Same deal here. Let's click on prepositions. And we have just a couple right here. And lastly, let's check out Etsy. Now this is the last website that you can use Keyword Planner on. I searched for candle holder. Now let's click on the first button. And these are all the long tail keywords for candle holder on Etsy. 
and same goes for the questions, but it looks like there are no questions related to this search query. Now let's do comparisons, and there is just one, and lastly, the prepositions, and you can see them right here. All right, so as you can see, Keyword Planner is such a useful and easy tool that you can use across a handful of the most popular websites to do quick keyword research. So go ahead and download this browser add-on for yourself and try it out. Now, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.